Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center. And today we're going to talk about threading of the Janome 3160. As I mentioned before, you may have a 3160 that looks a little bit different as far as colors because there are several versions of this machine as far as looks, but they all work the same. So let's get started with threading. To start with, we want to put our spool of thread right up here. Put, and if we have a small diameter spool, we want to use the small spool cap. Now notice I have the thread coming towards me and from underneath. That helps it spiral off better without tangling and getting kinks. I usually uh, back off my um, spool cap a little bit so that this can spin. These crosswound spools sometimes like to spin when they start emptying. Okay, so now we're going to take out the bobbin right here. This happens to be an empty bobbin in there. And then put your, your thread right underneath here. Make sure it gets right in between that spring-loaded disc so that it holds the thread. What that's going to do is put a little bit of tension on your thread as it's winding so it winds nice and smoothly on the bobbin. Then put your thread from inside to outside right through the hole in the side of the bobbin and have that thread tail coming upwards like this. Snap that firmly down onto the spindle and then push it to the right. Now notice what happens in the screen here. It tells us we're winding a bobbin. So hold this up like this. I'm going to push slider right up to maximum. Now keep holding on to this as you start winding your bobbin. And notice over here it's making several layers on that thread. At this point, we need to stop and cut this thread off, just that thread tail that you're hanging on to, and then you can keep winding. The reason why you want to make several layers of thread is so that it covers the beginning of that thread and it doesn't come unspun later on. So we can keep winding, and um, if I was going to keep winding and wound a full bobbin, eventually the, th the wraps of thread would push against the stopper and that would cause this to back off a little bit and would stop it from continuing to spin. You'd still hear the motor going, but it would not overwind the bobbin or wind it too full. Once you have enough on your bobbin, you don't have to necessarily fill it every time, just fill it to what you need to. Maybe with your black and your white thread, you might want to fill it full since you use that a lot. Just push this back, lift this off, cut your thread. Now we're going to put the bobbin into the, into the machine. Here we have on your cover a little diagram showing how to thread it. Important to remember when you put your thread, your bobbin in your machine, make sure that your thread is coming off the left hand side like this. Not like this. So think letter P. It looks like the letter P. P for perfect. So we put that right down in there and then this little notch right here, the thread needs to come into that notch. Now notice it's spinning. We want to stop it from spinning because we're going to pull this back here. See it's not all the way in there until we give it a good little pull like that. Now the thread, the bobbin thread, is into the tension area of the bobbin case. When you put the cover back on, make sure that the thread is towards the back so it doesn't get caught in the teeth of the cover. Put that on there. That part's done. Done for now, anyway. Okay, so here we're going to thread the top. Now, nice and conveniently have numbers showing you the order of threadings. Start back here, two hands, get under that little plastic piece that down there. And when you are threading, we want to make sure that the thread sinks down into the tension disc. So always make sure that your presser foot is up. That opens your tension discs. Pull this down here to three. Come up here. Make sure that this is up. And if it's not, you can always push needle down, needle up, just to make sure that the take-up lever is up there. The take-up lever has a little stopper, so you want to make sure that your thread is into that stopper and into the eye of the take-up lever. Down here, underneath here, there is a little hook. So make sure you get around that hook and into that hook. So if you can, if your thread is like this, you can tell you got it in. If it just comes right back up, you miss that hook. So it's right like that. Then we have a little hook on the side of the needle bar. Put that right in like that. 
Now, let's use the needle threader. So push this all the way down. There are two hooks, one on the left, one on the right. We want to put the hook into the left, hand, the needle uh, thread into the left hand hook, and then in front of the needle into the right hand hook. Notice how I have it at an upward angle. Come back to the handle here, gently lift it up, and it has pulled a loop of thread through the eye of the needle. Now, if it makes a very tiny loop of thread, you can take a pin and grab that loop of thread and pull it through. Next, we need to pull up the bobbin thread through the needle plate. So holding this upwards like this, come over here to your needle down, needle up, push it once, push it twice, and that lifts up a loop of your bobbin thread. Now, I don't like to get my fingers close to the pointy end of the needle, so I figured out a really nifty way to pull up that bobbin thread. Start by taking your top thread, put it under the toes of the foot, take the tail end of your top thread, swipe it under the foot, and that brings up your bobbin thread. Those tails are too long, you could just come right around the machine, snip them off with the cutter right there. Now our machine is threaded, ready to sew. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the box down below. And uh, we have other videos for you to watch. Thanks for coming. Bye.